Hey, hey, God bless everyone. You know who this is, right? Talk to me, somebody. No, I'm not part of the Tree Stooges. This is Sammy D. You want me to prove it to you? Wait a minute. How about now? Listen, I'm out here praying for people. I'm going to be praying, playing my congas in a little while by the piers. But I'm out taking a walk and I pray for a few people. Some people don't want to be recorded. I understand that. Believe it or not, some prefer not to wear a mask. What am I supposed to do? Tell them, no, I'm not going to pray for you. Maybe this may be your last opportunity to hear from Jesus or about Jesus, but I'm not going to pray for you because you don't have a mask. I'm going in there to pray for them anyway. I may stay a little distance. I'll protect myself for you that are very paranoid or concerned. But if you don't have a mask and you still need prayer, I'm going to pray for you. I'm not going to run away from you because you don't have a mask on. So I'm going to pray for that one. Now, Jesus went to the leopards. The other religious folks won't get near them. Jesus said, where the leopards? Show me. I'm going to go pray for them. The story about the Good Samaritan. The guy got bushwhacked, got beat up, laying up for dead. The Good Samaritan came and helped him. The religious folks said, oh, I ain't going near that guy. I'm praying for people. Whether you got a mask on or not, again, I take precaution. But I'm going to pray for you. I don't have COVID-19. I've been tested three times. I do have John 3.16. That one I got 42 years ago at Calvary. Not online, not on Amazon, not on any other shopping department. I got it at Calvary, John 3.16. God's all over the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in who shall not perish have everlasting life. So I'm praying for people. If you prefer I wear a mask, I take my mask off, I put it on. I'll pray for you through the mask. Word of God is going to go through. Blood of Jesus is going to touch you. Doesn't make a difference. I'm out of here praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful day. Look at this beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And it's a good day to enjoy it. To worship Jesus. Any day is good for that. Particularly when you walk in. The sun is out. Just gives you a little bit more inspiration. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Of course, some people in our culture reject that. Too many philosophies, too many different voices. People have their own concept, their own belief system. You can't come to the Lord on your own anyway. You can't wake up one morning and say, you know what? I think I'll go find God. Is this God calling you? God called us. He reached us. He chose us. Listen to me. He elected and selected. We're a royal priesthood. We've been redeemed. Now we're perishable things like silver and gold. We've been redeemed by the blood pat, 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 of Jesus. Uh, I got to say that with excitement. I can't just say it tiptoeing through it. I've been redeemed by the blood. I've been redeemed by the blood, by your being of the Lamb. <clears throat> there was nothing soft about the crucifixion of Jesus. It was loud. Everybody saw it. Everybody heard it. They took him to a hill for everybody to see. You had to look up. God got this hill. You say, Sammy D, what avenue? What are the in-between streets? What barrel? God got this hill. Calvary! Go there, baby. The Lord's waiting for you with open arms to receive you. It was loud. It was loud. 
And when he said, Father, they heard that in the third heaven. Unto you, I deliver my spirit. And he said, it is finished. That's it. He finished his work. Isn't that wonderful? He finished all that he had to do. Woo! Hey! He finished it for us to continue it here on earth. There's nothing loud about the praises of God. It's a shout it from the mountaintop. Blow the trumpet in Zion. You that are tiptoeing through the tulips. You that are hiding your light under a bush. You don't want nobody to know you're a Christian. Born again, saved, filled with the Spirit of God. Not to be ashamed. See, I found out a long time ago. God's not ashamed of me. I was an old dolphin, a rebel, a bushwhacker. Low down, snake in the grass, waving my fist at God. God says, I'm going to save that kid. Yeah, that little wild runaway kid, I'm going to save him. And he came down that I may come up. He took my sickness that I may be healed. He took my sins that I may be the righteousness of God. Took everything out, put himself in. Ain't nothing quiet about me, baby. Nothing quiet about the fact that Jesus is alive and he's doing well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody going to hear it. Two things are going to happen. As I praise God. They're going to prosecute me or persecute me. They say stone that guy. So the devil's saying stone him. Like they did the apostles. Persecuted them. That's one of the things that may happen. Unfortunately. The other thing that may happen is people get saved. <laughs> Woo! Hey! I can't lose. Can't lose. If you persecute me, it's better to be with the Lord. Absent from the body is in the presence of God. And if people get saved, that's what God wants. That's what I want. I'm a sea sower. Not a seesaw going up and down. A sea saw. You sow seeds. So I gotta sow the seeds. That's what I do for the Lord. So you can't lose with the stuff God used. Yeah, I'm loud, baby. You know I'm loud. Nothing quiet about this here. It's good news. You walking by a building, I'll finish. There's a fire. You're the only one that sees it. People are sleeping. Two o'clock in the morning. Nobody sees it. You smell smoke. <laughs> and I don't mean the joint that some are smoking. That's not the smoke you smell. You smell fire. And then you go in there and you say, fire! Oh, you can keep quiet. Say, I ain't none of my business, man. I'm going to keep walking. I ain't got nothing to do with that. The next day you hear on the news, 15 people got burned and killed. You had an opportunity to save them. But you kept quiet because you're too dignified. I'm going to shout fire. That's what I'm shouting. There's some things coming, man. Some things are coming! God's gonna shake this world. Those that are standing, building their rock on him, building their house on the rock, I should say, building their house on the rock, they're gonna stand. Those that are not are shaky, fuddy, duddy. So this is the time to start shouting. I don't mean going around like a maniac, like a crazy Eddie. I mean, with dignity, pride, control, finesse, if you will. When God leads you, talk about him. Walk about him. Show him to the world. Father in Jesus, I pray everybody listen to me right now. The Bible says, the top of the head of the very soul, their feet, Father. I declare. John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes shall not perish, have everlasting life. I declare. Psalm 91. He or she that dwells in the blame the most high, the bound the shallow mighty, I will save the Lord. He is my strength, my refuge. In him will I trust. God bless you. You take care of yourself, right? Stay strong. You know you can't go wrong. Hey! <laughs> Woo!
God bless. Mm -mm 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 -mm.